Hello, friends. Welcome to Turtle Power Presents, the Power Playthroughs Project with Turtle Power. I am your host, Turtle Power. This is the podcast where we play games in a powerful way. Sometimes it's a podcast, sometimes it's Twitch stream, sometimes it's a YouTube video. Today, it's a podcast and YouTube video. Um, we're checking out a little bit of Smelter today, um, which is a, well, for me, it's an upcoming game for the Nintendo Switch. For you, I think this is going to be out on the day it releases. Um, and yeah, uh, this was uh, provided to us by Dangan Entertainment, so thank you to them for providing us a copy of this game. Um, we're going to watch the opening cutscene here in just a little bit, but I want to tell you a little bit about what I know. This game is a top-down strategy game, but also a side-scrolling action game. And as far as I can tell, you play as Eve, trying to rescue Adam after the destruction of Garden of Eden, and you wear, like, high-tech body armor that still has underboob showing. And that's about all I know so far about Smelter. It looked really cool, like, cool style. Like, do you hear that music right now? That's the music for Smelter. That music kicks ass. You can get down to that. Anyway, I'm going to restart this so we can see the opening cinematic and we will uh, check out a little bit of Smelter together. All right. So we're seeing the uh, X Plus, I believe, is the developer of the game. Their logo on the screen there. And then F Mod. And then Gangan Entertainment. Thank you again. And then here we go. We see a tree, and we zoom in on an apple falling from the tree, and we see a woman ripped away from a man, and she falls into a cave, and then some sort of a monster opens its eyes, and that monster's flying out of an archway, and there's a whole bunch of other mean-looking monsters, and they're, like, there's a guy with a big axe, and a turtle, or a frog with fire on its back, and rock elementals, and the girl's got red hair and green uh, underpants and brawn, and then she, like, goes, Rah! and now she has green underpants and body armor only above the top of the boobs on and she's kicking all kinds of ass and there's a celestial moon in the sky and she like has a ghost creature pop out behind her that was like a genie that was all buff and now we're looking at the title screen smelter pressing a button to start oh my gosh heck yes just how can you not be into it that style is so good the animation and the music yes i will press any button to smart start to smart um okay and now it's an 8-bit title screen um, oh, that's fantastic. I love how that looks. Really beautiful pixel art. Uh, the, the, the smelter logo is in the middle, but we're kind of looking down at some bricks, and there's two columns on the left and right side with green torches on them, and just really nice lighting effects. Looks very lovely. Let's check options real quick. Um, uh, let's see. There's a uh, brightness. There's a colorblind mode. Fantastic. Way to include that. And you choose which kind of colorblind you need. That's, that's great. Um, audio, just seeing if we need to set anything for subtitles. Languages, it is available in English, Korean, Spanish, French, Japanese, and German. We'll choose English, represented by the British flag. And then under controls, um, okay, so there's, there's three sets of controls. There's rumbly lands, platformer, and other. Um, vibration on, and then you can choose whether you want your confirm to be the A button on the switch or the B button. That is a good option to have. We're going to leave everything at the defaults and go into start game. That's a great option to have. Screen fades to black, and then it says, did you know hints tell you things that might help you in games, life, or other conquests? Uh, I'm going to go to the next tip. I could press A to continue, but I'm going to check out what the next tip is. Oh, my camera's doing a bad thing again. Okay, hopefully we've averted that crisis. Apologies. Um, some areas might be able to be traversed in different ways using different skills. Your controls can be remapped in the controls menu to achieve the perfect configuration so you don't die as much. Did you know hints tell you things? Okay, there we go. And then we'll press continue now since we've looped around. All right, we're looking at a pixel art representation of, of Eden and there's Adam and Eve and an apple falls down and they're like, oh, what's that? We should check it out. And Interesting. I'm playing as Adam. I can move left or right as Adam. I'm gonna go eat that apple. Press A to pick it up. And uh, he takes a bite. Nom 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 nom. And then a light comes down from the sky and a giant explosion goes flying across. Do you hear how much the controller is vibrating at this explosion? Screen fades to white. And now we see Eve falling and falling. Head first, she's spinning around. 
It says Eve could never have predicted the events that would transpire after Adam succumbed to the tempting ore of the forbidden fruit. After watching her beloved Adam consume it and witnessing the great white light fall from the heavens, Eve soon saw the world around her disappear and soon found herself falling through nothing but emptiness and darkness. But not complete darkness, because complete darkness would be way too scary. It was more like a slight darkness. You know the kind of darkness you see when you close your eyes? Kind of like that. <laughs> oh man, this game's gonna be awesome. Um, it's getting a little bit lighter on the character. Oh, but it got dim again. And then it says, parentheses, what? What do you mean, stay focused? I am focused. Haven't you heard of narration before? I'm trying to paint a vivid picture for the audience. How about I do my job and you do yours? It says dot dot dot. Fine. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, this is great. I like the writing on it a lot already. Okay. We're seeing there's green stuff. Um, she's falling through something green. As she fell, a faint emerald light started to glimmer below her. She did not know what would become of her once she reached that light. And this is how her story began. Cool. I, I very much dig it. Now there's a lot more green lights, and it's getting brighter, and there's like green stars all over the place, and then the screen fades to black. And now Eve's lying on the ground, facing away from us. And on the left side of the screen, it said, Adam? I don't know what that was. Um, she stands up and then gets big glares, like, whoa! And she looks to her left. There's nothing there. She looks to her right. And there's, ooh, there's some there's some rocks to the right. Um, and then um, some, okay, so there's, there's, like, rocks that can be broken down, I'm guessing. But, like, shadowy versions of Eve just appeared. Um, one who's jumping over and over again, and one who's kicking the rocks. And next to the one who's jumping, it says the B button. And next to the one kicking rocks, it shows the Y button. I love, oh my gosh, the animation is very fluid. The, uh, so the, the whole game, um, it's, it's all like, this is like a 16-bit style, um, very, very Mega Man X is what pops immediately into my head. Um, very fluid animation style on Eve here. I like it. Her hair bounces behind her. She has a many, many frames of animation as her legs run. Okay, now we're in a room with some green oozy pits, so we'll be jumping over those, taking care not to fall into the green oozy pits, kick down some more rocks. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? You know what my, like, personal frame of reference of a 16-bit game that I always, like, think of for comparisons but I don't actually know very well is Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. I never... I don't think we ever owned a Sega Genesis. Ooh, I almost fell in the, in the Uzi pit. But um, uh, I, I have vivid memories of Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. And it also has great animation. There's now a rock, uh, like, 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 the cave is collapsing behind me, so I've got to go quick. Kick down a rock. Run, run, run. Oh, the collapsing is getting close to me. Again, uh, Aladdin vibes, that Cave of Wonders level, that level is hard as hell. I'm just jumping across um, these, these pits. Um, rocks are collapsing behind me, and then the wall collapses behind me as I enter a new room. And she looked at it, and then she walks to her right a little bit, and uh, there's a, like, claw holding a green flame far to the right here, but we're basically over a big pit, so I'm just going to jump down it. I actually jumped down it before I meant to, uh, but now we're at the bottom of the pit, and, um, and then a voice says, Hey, do I hear your footsteps? If someone's up there, help me. Okay, we'll go keep looking our way down, see who we can help. Who's around to help? Holy smokes! I knew I was right! Hey, you tippity tappity up there. I'm down here. I don't, I'm, I'm figuring out where the voice is going. We'll find out. Drop down and get me out of here, will ya? This place could come down any second, and I don't want my beautiful face crushed. Is it the green? There's like a green, uh, like specter thing here. Uh, that looks like it's probably carbon. What but it's glowing red eyes. Is that who's talking? Oh boy, sounds like this place is coming down. I guess this is the end of the road for me. Nope, we're gonna come down there and... Oh, okay, the green specter is over an archway. So we'll kick open the archway and see in here is uh, the little green monster man from the uh, cartoon intro. And uh, Eve's kind of just looking at the green monster man. And uh, now I've got a portrait of them. It looks like they might be like a totem thing? Let's zoom in here. They're, they're kind of like a green totem face. 
with a little, looks like a little orange horn and glowing green eyes and a glowing green mouth. And they've got little bat wings. Uh, and it goes, oh, I took you long enough, but I guess I owe you. How in the world did you even end up down here anyways? And Eve says, dot, 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 dot. And he goes, hmm, interesting, very interesting. Some say silence speaks louder than words, but you're really destroying that whole expression, aren't you? Just give me a minute, I can read minds. Hmm. Huh? I see. I see. I can clearly detect that you're looking for your boyfriend. I bet I'm right. Am I right? Tell me I'm right. He says, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to take that face as a yes. Oh, his portrait changed. He's like making a big face now. And he says, ah, right. Where are my manners? The name's, uh, Mel. <coughs> Smelter. Uh, that is spelled, uh, S-M-E-L-T-E-R-R capital R dot 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 question mark. Yeah, let's go with that. Sorry, the name my pal calls me, my, the name my pals call me is kind of hard to say, full of vowels and uh, throat noises. I'm just a run of the mill angel, a really good one. Uh oh, this place is actually starting to come down. Whatever could that be? Quick, fluty poo with me. <laughs> <laughs> Said fluty poo. Flutey poo with me, Eve says dot dot dot. Ah, no, no, it's completely normal. Just stand still. And he went flying up off the top of the screen, and now the screen goes black, and Eve is circling around like she's floating in the air and circling around really fast. And the thing attached to my head, and now I have cool combat boots and the cool upper body armor. But this is the thing, is Eve is animated doing, like, an idle ma- animation where she's, like, like backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Like, I'm ready to fight. Like, all right, let's go, you know? And and her under boobs are popping in and out <laughs> from this battle armor. Oh, man. Uh, Smelter says, a wonderful posing and great presentation. Really takes me back. But never mind that. Knock down those blocks so we can get out of here. Um, so I've got, I've got Smelter as, uh, a, like, um, uh, a, a helmet thing and gave me, uh, big boots and big gloves and big point and shoulder pads, um, and, and like a chest guard above my boobs. But what's weird is the bra that Eve was wearing before covered her under boobs, so her bra has to have disappeared in order for her under boobs to expose. Oh man. Uh, Smelter says, not much time for dilly dallying, but as you might have noticed, we flutey pooted, so now you can wear me. <laughs> what that means is you're not so squishy now because of this amazing ritual my kind made. You see, long ago, when there were more of my kind. Wait, what am I doing? We don't have time for an emotional flashback. Time to get out of this hellhole before this place starts coming down too. Guess you'll have to learn some stuff on the go. Onwards! And um, there's a there's a green glowing hand behind me too, which I guess is Smelter's spirit. Um, now I see another ghost version of me that says I can do a dash with the R button. Cool. And it says over and B. Oh, okay, well, let's kill this slime that hit me. Over and B to do a wall climb. Let's go wall climbing up here. Um, this feels great, like the, the gameplay in this 2D section here, I know there, there's a, a top-down section coming later, so we're gonna have two different kinds of gameplay to work with in this game, but, um, I'm liking the, the 2D sections here, uh, quite a bit. This is, this is my kind of game. Alright, kicked another slime to death, doing some more wall climbing here. Flutey poof, <laughs> flutey poof. <laughs> uh, Smelter says, oh, it's one of those ancient thingamajigs. I think it's called a clip palm. Wait, that sounds off. Mm. Ah, well, it'll come back to me. Just try to smelt it. And it's a growing green, g- glowing green rock in front of me. And now we get a, a, a tutorial screen here that says smelt. Smelter smelt ability can manipulate various things that glow green. Enemies can also be smelted when glowing green for more HP. If you see something glowing green, try smelting it. All right, and we're gonna press L, and my glowing green hand flew out and punched the growing, glowing green thing, and Smelter says, bravo, oh, you're growing up so fast. All right, upwards and onwards. I don't know what hitting that actually did for me, but uh, we'll go upwards and onwards, like the man said. Um, and by the man, I mean strange, tiki-faced angel body armor <laughs> thing. Uh, Okay, so I just tried using Smelter on something that's not going green, and it just, it makes the big hand fly out, but but it just goes past things if they're not going green. Glowing green, it looks like. All right, here's some more green blobs, and Smelter says, well, 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 if it isn't my greatest foe, a slime. Time to show you what I'm made of. Let's go over there so I can give him a taste of my smelt blade. Pretty cool name, right? I'll give us some juice, so let's try executing a smelt blade on these things. All right. And another tutorial screen here showing uh, showing 
the smelter glow up into a big green genie and slicing out a blade. And it says, whenever Eve's, whenever Eve's smelt power gauge is full, the smelter will unleash a powerful attack. Each smelt blade costs three bars. Attacking enemies will refill the smelt power gauge. Okay. And I see that there's a purple gauge up in the top corner. And we're going to jump. Oh, I guess just press X. No, just press X. And it does like a little animation where it zooms in and shows him, uh, shows smelter doing a cool blade attack. Cool. This rocks. You know what's another great 16 bit? I listen, Spelter's trying to say more stuff. Oh man, I just realized my camera's been blocking the text. That's okay, I've been reading everything for you. I'm gonna move my camera over to the other side though, so you can see Smelter's cool animation or cool, cool face uh, over in that corner. Um, another great 16 bit side scrolling action game that, that this is giving me a little bit of vibes of, which again, maybe I'm, it's just because it's a 16 bit side scrolling action game. Freaking Hook, man. Hook on the Super Nintendo, that game rocked. Uh, Smelter says, We made it to the exit, all oh, thanks to me. And Eve says, dot, dot, dot. And he goes, ah, well, I guess you did help a bit. At any rate, get yourself ready for what's up next, because we're going to the Rumbly Lands. <laughs> and Rumbly Lands is spelled capital R, lowercase u, capital M, capital M, lowercase m, lowercase m, capital M, capital M, capital M, capital B, capital L, capital Y. Um, and Eve says, dot, dot, dot. Anywho, let's get out of here. My residence will my residence await my return. To the rumbly lands we go. Onwards, chop chop. And she runs off the screen. <gasps> oh man. Your controls can be read. Yeah, I already read all the hints. Oh wait, the divine used to maintain contact with the guardians, but has long since gone silent. Okay. The divine has gone silent. Wait, so like God has gone silent? Is that what that's saying? All right, here we're in our top-down uh, strategy view here, and Smelter is flying over a landscape, and I see Eve chilling with her feet in a whirly pool, and there's some uh, buildings with flames on them, and a big green crystal, and uh, uh, some other things. But uh, Smelter's talking here, he says, Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. Welcome to the Rumbly Lands. Now that we can flutey poo, you can help me out while I help you find your Adam. But first, let me show you around my magnificent em uh, Wait, what the hell happened here? My heart is still here, but where the hell is the rest of my empire? And when it said my heart, it zoomed in on that green glowy tower that I mentioned. Your, your despicableness, you have returned. This is Commander Zerma saying this. Yeah, I sure have. I'm sure I was dearly missed. Eh, without question, my lord. But more importantly, what in my name has happened to my empire? Explain yourself. Uh, of course, your large wingedness. You've come just in time. Your beloved heart and the surrounding structures have all uh, been all but destroyed. Your royal forces have done their best to fend off the enemy, but to no avail. I'm sure there's something you can do to get us out of this dreadful situation? Well, since you asked nicely, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, my lord. Time to stretch these wings of mine a bit and take care of these guys. Attacking in the Rumbly Lands it shows my right stick. Uh, Smelter can help defend his Zerms and his empire by attacking. Um, oh, okay, it's a twin stick shooter. It's, it turned into a twin stick shooter and there's there's some sort of a hammerhead man and he's punching buildings and I'm shooting him. Look at this unforgettable mess they've made. Uh, my apologies, my lord. This is just how much your presence is needed here. Your Zerms are lost without you. Ah, if they weren't already, I'd blast these chumps from the grobby domain to pieces again. And not only did they take down one of my Zerm houses, they did a number on the Zerm barracks, too. Uh, yes, your greatness. Again, my apologies. However, as much as we Zerms would love to, I believe there's not much time for a joyous reunion. All right, you are, Commander. Time to get this place back into shape. I want to repair buildings. But to do that, I need helium to get that... Helium? Helium? Maybe it's helium? Is it helium? It's not helium. There's two L's. Helium. To get that helium, I gotta harvest it. And when I say I, I mean my Zerm harvesters. Let's stroll over to that fissure over there and summon a Zerm, a Zerm harvester. So the fissure is this, like, green boggy thing. So we'll fly over there. Uh, summon a Zerm harvester. Uh, summon. Hold A for 100. That's it's behind my face again, man. I'm sorry. I'm just, let's just turn my face off a little bit for those of you watching on YouTube. You know what I look like. Let's let's go to let's go to just the game here for a little bit. Um, summon Zerms on fishers to start harvesting helium for you. So 
Uh, that created a little portal and a Zerm popped out. And I go, oh, well, ain't that a sword for sore eyes? A sword for sore eyes, a sight for sore eyes, however you want to say it. There should be more fishers throughout the Rumbly Lands, so we should summon more Zerm harvesters on them if we want to increase our Helium harvesting speed. Although we'll need to make sure they're protected, since baddies sometimes like to try to take them down. Anywho, now that we have some income, let's spend the first Helium to repair the damaged buildings. Structures that need to be repaired will have this wrench symbol. Smelter can spend Helium to cast repair on his structures and other important structures such as occupied ruins while he does other things. So we'll fly over to these buildings and press R to cast repair. And uh, then we'll go do it on the barracks as well. And I think that's it. Okay, the barracks are still repairing. They're almost there though. God, this rocks. I am so in love with this game. Uh, Smelter says, Commander! Yes, your greatness. Now that I've so graciously saved the day and repaired my buildings, which you failed to protect while I was away, I'm sure some of my Zerm forces are ready to get back to work. Uh, of course, they're uh, ready and waiting your command. That's what I like to hear. Time to call some Zerms over to occupy the Zerm barracks so they'll fight for me. Call three Zerms to the Zerm barracks. Do I... Uh, call... Do I go to the barracks to do that? Yes. Call Zerm. Press Y. Okay. Oh. Tapped it a couple times? Yeah, there they go. They're going from their Zerm houses to the Zerm barracks. <laughs> oh, man. And they get there, and, and now they're, like, in, in armor, and like, hoo, 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 hanging out in front of the barracks. Perfect! These Zerms should keep things pretty safe from now. You're magnificent. Can't you see I'm in the middle of a tutorial? What is it? Um, my apologies. I just wanted to inform you while you were away, we managed to gain access to Goombor. That's a G-U-U-M-B-O-R. And it looks like some orange rocks. Oh, well, that's good news. At least you managed to do something while I was gone. Your words are too kind, my lord. Additionally, we've confirmed the existence of a Doma Stone inside. By retrieving it, we expect that not only will you be able to restore some of the power you lost before being banished by the Guardians, it'll also remove the barrier blocking the way to the Garabi Domain. So just north of the structure, there's uh, uh, seven columns of yellow light that appear to be the barrier that they're referring to. This day just keeps getting better. I think it's time to head it. Whoa, where did my voice go? I, I, oh no, I've lost it. I think it's time to head in there and find that stone. Well, getting it will further secure the safety of my empire, which will make it easier to find your boy. Trust me. Keep watch here, Commander. We'll head to Gumbor and check it out. Yes, my lord. Uh, so we're going to fly to Gumbor and hold A to enter. And then I think this is going to take us into a, a like side-scrolling dungeon as, uh, as Eve. Uh, increasing Smelter's Empire's Zerm soldier population to certain amounts can give Eve additional health points. Interesting. What a weird... Uh, like, I'm, I'm just... I'm smitten. Uh, Gumbor, to the training grounds, it says. Ah, Gumbor, this takes me back. It was once a training ground for Garabi forces. Most of it was made of these little guys called... Uh, Bloxes? Bloxes? Ah, uh, whatever you call them. And we're in luck! Looks like there's still some around. Let's go give him a nice smelter hello. We'll also need to find the Garabi Doma Stone, which should be somewhere on these grounds. And so now we're in another cool side-scrolling section. Um, a very cool color palette here. There's like a desert in the background. There's some like fossils in the foreground. And some of those hammerhead guys I was referring to as before, the, the Bloxies apparently. Ow! Don't, don't punch me. Didn't expect that guy to do a cool flaming punch at me. Um, here's like a big, uh, a forge, apparently, Smelter says. Ah, right, forges. All domains have them, and can do even, and I can do even more by absorbing their power. Should I happen up on that one and see what happens? So we hop on the forge, which is a glowing thing, a uh, glowing like altar, and he says, wait for it. Nothing's happened. Ooh, big explosion of, of energy, and the screen went all dark for a second, and Smelter goes, ooh, bam, did you feel it? The power of this forge is rushing through me which also makes you nice and beefed up. Let's see if we can find more forges while we look for that stone. Also, let's give the next guy we see a whap. Something tells me we can deal out heavier hits now. New skills unlocked. Earth Dasher, Face Pummeler, and Swipe. I can check the skill tree or close. Absolutely check the skill tree. Um, so, okay. 
there's three different um, skill trees here. One for Garabi, one for Aramagu, and one for Nutoru. And within Garabi, I just unlocked Swipe, which lets me execute an upwards attack with up Y. A Face Pummeler, which is a three punch combo, dish out damage with a flurry of hard hitting punches with up to a three hit combo. And Earth Dasher, pound the ground to let those around Eve, to let those around Eve Pound the ground to let those around Eve who's boss. Smelter, obviously. I think they're missing a word there. But still, cool. I've got new abilities. Just like that. Um, oh man, there's a glossary section. Return to the Rumble Lands, return to Tiles. Okay, let's go. Okay, also my armor changed. It's now like a, um, a darker green instead of a, a really kind of bright green. Let's do, uh, wait. Uh, how, wait, how do I, skills. Hold Y, hold down and press Y. I'm trying that, and it's not doing anything. Oh, it's not its not a ground pound. It's while you're on the ground, you hold down and press Y, and it does a little, like, uh, explosion of energy around you. But let's try that three-hit combo. And uppercut. I didn't do an uppercut. I did a three-hit combo, though, and it was pretty cool, and I killed two enemies. Uh, let's go on to the next screen. Oh, there's falling rocks here that have that green energy on them, so I'm going to press... That was the R button, which is a dash, and I fell to my death. I was trying to press the L button, which is my um, uh, uh, shoot out my big claw glowy hand thing. Um, so when I die, it does take me back to the start of this whole level. At least so far I did. That's something to be aware of. It didn't take me back to the start of the second screen. It took me back to the start of the first screen, but I saw those abilities unlocked. All right, let's grab these falling rocks and that causes them to stop and float in the air. So I can, I can make falling platforms into stable platforms temporarily, and then they eventually fall again. Cool. Okay, there's, uh, there's a couple new enemy types here. There's a guy with like a whip. There's a spiky rock thing that's going around. Um, I just recently finished playing uh, Blaster Master Zero 2, which is very NES style, but at the same time, like this, this is scratching the void that finishing that game has left in my gaming desires. So I am just, I am over the moon and getting to check this one out. Um, ooh, here's another of those green glowing monsters. Let's grab that. And hang on just a second. Hey. All right, we're back to it. Uh, my, my wife is working on crafting projects and came to give me an update. It's so cool. She's making all kinds of cool stuff. Um, let's see. I already activated this green portal thing, I think. So now I need to jump up. And oh, now the game's going to tutorialize for me how I can stop platforms falling there. I already know that game. Thanks, though. Um, Let's see if I can kill this spiky boy. He looks like the spiky things in Blaster Master Zero that launch across the screen when their spikes are lined up with you, but he's not. He's just a spiky boy, and apparently he's indestructible, so... Ooh, there's a green gem floating in the abyss over here. Can I get to it? Yeah, I got the green gem. You found an apple core. Collect apple cores and use them to upgrade Smelter's heart to get additional bonuses for his empire and structure upgrades. All right, cool. I found a hidden collectible. I am just, this This game rules. We'll see how I end up feeling about the strategy portion. Um, Cause I, I mean, I, I sometimes like a strategy game, but it's not always my thing. But this portion of it, this, this side scroller, I just climbed up the wall and there's a door up here and it opened very slowly as I got close to it. And then there's another door to the left that does not open. So we'll go through the one that's open very slowly and ominously. Um, this side scrolling, section i just I, I i i love the animation i'm loving the music i love the writing in this game is fantastic so far okay uh we're in like a challenge room it looks like it says don't get yourself killed and um there's spikes on the right oh there's a clock going best time current time okay we're sliding down a wall okay hit some spikes and died you failed cool so uh i gotta not hit the spikes but i okay so there's there's a, a vertical shaft I have to fall down that has spikes on left and right. So, oh, I just, ooh, okay. I just fell straight down it and then it went to the right and now I have to jump over some spikes to the left. Uh, this reminds me of Celeste a little bit, um, like like this kind of a challenge thing of, of like controlling your falls and using wall climbs to avoid hitting anything on the way down. And that's the end of the room right there. Come on, come on. I'm at 31 seconds, 32 seconds, 32, oh, six, seven. Trial cleared. 
Let's go through the door at the end, and there's a, a gold doohickey here. And Smell just says, well, ain't that the shiniest token I've ever seen? Jeez, do you know anything? We can use these things at Special Forge scattered around the rumbly lands in the three domains. Offering one of these to the silly forge guards makes our fruity poo stronger. Activating different forges lets you do more cool stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, doing Smelter's voice is uh, very bad for my throat. And it means more power for me. Which will be really helpful later on. Let's swing by a forge later and see what we can get. All right, cool. Let's go out the door of this weird uh, electronic purple glowy challenge room. I didn't even describe that it was electronic and purple glowy, but it was. Now you know. All right. Uh, that brought us back out the other door that we were in. So now we'll go back to where I think we were supposed to be going, which was not up this wall. I, I, I'm just finding the, the secrets, finding the apple cores, finding the challenge rooms, the trial, I think it was called. Man, this game rocks. I am completely smitten. Um, all right, here's a forge. Ah, uh, here's another. And wait for it. And there's the big forge explosion of energy, which looks really cool when it happens. I feel like, well, I... You have a spring in your step now. Let's see if we can jump up to that ledge. New skills unlocked. Blast off and wall grab. Uh, wall grab. Eve can completely stop and hang on the wall indefinitely. Press R during a wall slide. Cool. And blast off. Charge to blast into the air to reach higher places. Hold down and then press B to release. Woo! Wait. Uh, I accidentally pressed the button to go back to the menu screen and it says, hold on just a hot minute. You're sure you want to go back to the title screen after all we've been through? You'll lose any unsafe progress, you know? And I'm going to say, a B, I guess not, because I didn't mean to do that. Hold down and press B and then, no, hold down, press B and then hold down. Ah, okay. I was, no, hold down. I, how do I actually blast off from this rocket thing? Okay, hold down, and B, and then let go of B, and that lets me rock it up. Okay, I got it. There's a floating platform going left and right here. We'll jump onto it, and it's going to take us off the other side of the screen where we can go up to a room that has, like, some crazy bull creatures that stomp the ground and cause rock spikes to go flying out. And I'm getting hit by them, unfortunately. Uh, but this one's got an apple core past it. I could just go... I don't have to fight him, but I'm going to... There we go. So I can get that apple core. That's two out of three apple cores, it says. And we'll go up another shaft, and here's the second bull creature is right below me. I'm gonna punch this. I'm on like a thin platform, broke the platform, punching the bull. I'm gonna, ah, oh, he hit me once as I fell down into his face. I'm gonna go off to the screen to the right, and there's a, a guy throwing spikes and a couple of whip guys, and one of the just blocksy guys. Let's use our charge jump. Our charge jump, there we go. And ow, I was hoping to dodge the spear, but I didn't time it right, so I got hit by a spear. There's the whip boy gone. Here's a Bloxy. And ooh, uh, he's going green, so we'll use our grab ability to regain some health. Cool. So after I beat him, he glued green and just hung out there. And here's another of those green things. Ah, that just gives me a bunch of health when I activate it. Cool. There's a statue here. Break the statue, why not? Uh, and we'll move on to the next screen. Now it looks like we're inside of a structure, uh, a temple of some sort, maybe, I would guess. There's whip boys above me, but I can just bust through some statues to get uh, around the bottom level. It looks like I'm going to have to go upwards here. This is kind of a, uh, it, it's like a vertical maze, it looks like. So I think I'm going to have to get into some encounters here to find out where I need to go. But first, there's a big glowing orange rock, and I'm going to just wreck it. And uh, I'm collecting rock up in the top. I, this must be uh, helium, I'm guessing, um, that I'm collecting on these levels, maybe? I don't know. I'm up to 79 of whatever it is, so that's good. 82 now. Here's a green glowing rock. Let's bust it up. It's not glowing. It's just a green rock. Kryptonite, probably. It didn't look like I got anything for that. Ooh, there's a... Oh, another secret room. Hello, blue glow glowing. Not, I keep saying things are glowing that aren't. It's just a blue uh, piece of paper floating in the air. It's a blueprint for a Kaiser Blitz. And that looks like I, I got the blueprint for one piece of a Kaiser Blitz. I've never seen anything like this before. 
Now, what are these weird scribbles? Mm, this sketch looks like it could be useful later, so let's keep on the lookout for any others. I'm gonna have to end this episode soon, simply because my throat is hurting so bad from doing that voice. Why did I pick the most, like, difficult, unpleasant voice to do for the character that it turns out does all of the speaking? Why couldn't that have been Eve's voice? <laughs> that was a funny joke, because Eve doesn't speak. Uh, I just went into another of the uh, doorways with green glowing eyes. Is this gonna be another challenge room? It is. What's the challenge this time? Don't get spotted. It's a stealth trial? Okay. There's a box here right below me. We're gonna wait for him to turn and then fall. Okay. There's one walking back and forth. We're gonna jump on a platform above his head. Go on. There's another one going back and forth. Went over his head. No, 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 he spotted me. Okay. All right, we got this, we got this. No, okay, I did a very bad job that time. I got spotted immediately. Okay. Two, over his head. Three. Okay, almost got spotted, but I didn't. Down into the second screen. There's two guys here. And I'm gonna have to, oh, okay, nope. Had to, had to step back, I did a bad job. My timing was off. Nope, got spotted, okay, okay. Did a bad job there. What an interesting challenge in a, in a side-scrolling action platformer to have to be stealthy, you know? game not built for stealth, but, like, you can put a stealth challenge in. There's nothing in the rules that says you can't, right? It's kind of fun. Okay. Here's the two that go back and forth. Oh, got past them. There's one here that I have to wall jump up to get past, and then that's the end of it. Heck yeah, trial clear. Time 29.049. That was pretty good. Pick up another one of those tokens and step out of this room. All right. You know what? Next time I'm playing this game, next time I've got it on TV myself and I'm playing it, this is totally going to be a um, Super Nintendo controller game for me. Uh, th this game begs to be played with a Super Nintendo controller. Like a Super Nintendo style controller. Um, okay, we're past the temple area now. There's rocks flying up into spikes. So I'm going to grab one of them with Smelter's ability. And... Use it to not hit spikes. Ooh, oh, okay. Um, there's a. I'm, I'm on a very small platform with one of those spiky guys uh, patrolling around it, and I had to grab a block and smelt it in order to have somewhere to jump away from there. And then there's a bull man, and I destroyed him. And now here's another forge. Wait for it. I like that you have to wait at the forge. There's the big explosion. Smelter says, Yeah, hard as a rock. Looks like this rock covering my armor can be made even thicker. We might get a bit heavier, but I think it could also be used to defend against attacks better. I'm sure we'll get a chance to try it out. Forwards and onwards, our search for the Doma Stone. New skills unlocked. Flex this and rock and body. <laughs> uh, rock and body. Smelter forms a layer of rock around Eve's body, making her much heavier. I can do hold A to do that. And flex this. Use rock and body the moment a projectile is supposed to hit Eve to neutralize the damage. Works on most projectiles. Cool. That, what a cool game. I just love it. Yeah. What's up? I blocked your projectile because I got a rock and body. I'm Eve, the red-headed warrior princess in a under boob revealing set of magical armor and I have a rock and body. What are you going to do about it? Dang it. I'm doing ah. Oh, oh, okay. I was trying to uh uh do ow. Okay. I was trying to do uh my my boost jump thing to get up to a platform above me, but I kept doing it wrong and then it turned out that there was a little like tornado thing that just wanted to throw me up there anyway, so I just had to wait for it to do its job. Um, cool, so when there's wind blowing upwards, I can use rock and body to avoid the wind pushing me up into spikes. Neat! Neat, 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 neat! I love it. I mean, the weirdness of the fact that you're playing as Eve in an underboob revealing armor aside, this game rocks. Smelter says, there it is! There's a glowing thing up in the sky. This one's actually glowing. And we're gonna go try and get it. And uh-oh, what's gonna happen? 
I don't know, but something clearly because, oh, she stopped running, but then I could run again. Uh, all right, something just dropped down in front of me. His name is Detective Kloss. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna yeah, just take my camera off here for a second. Uh, Detective Kloss has a big X on his head and he's wearing robes and he's massive. He's like twice as tall as Eve. His face is bigger than Eve. And he says, sure, you finally made it. Don't just show up like that. Do you want to give me a heart attack? Who the heck are you? The one who's been monitoring you. Well, that's not creepy at all, and that doesn't answer my question. There will be more time for questions later. I know you're here for the Garabi Duma Stone, and I have no intention of stopping you. Just meet me outside to the north once you've finished here. I'll be waiting for you. And he raises his hand up in the air, and he's got a grappling gun in his hand, and he's gonna grapple out of here. He says, until we meet again. And he shoots it up in the air and takes off with a grappling gun. What? How, how is that rope even holding him? Ah, oh, forget it. Anyways, getting that stone there will let us transform even outside the Garabi domain, making it possible to do different things. Pretty neat, right? Let's break it out of there so we can snatch it and leave. So I think this is saying that this unlocks my ability to um, use the skills that I've unlocked here in a different area, I think. Uh, we grabbed it with our grab ability. Well, looks like that did something. Let's get out of here and tell Commander Zerma the good news. And Eve runs off the screen to the right. Um, stage clear. I get, I get, I get points. I get a Moxie score that gave me a bonus, and then it ranks my time and my Apple cores and Moxie deposits and something else. I was too delighted by the score. And now we see one of the boxy guys who's bowing down in a beautifully rendered pixel art cutscene here, who goes, m m my lord, I regret to inform you that uh, Gumbor has been overrun by the green one. And we see a shadow of whoever he's referring to as my lord, who says, so he's back. And the screen fades to black. Oh, man, if that's not a great place to end it, I don't know what is. Um, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Wow, I, I am blown away. I, like... I was checking this game out mostly for the goofs. Like I saw, I saw Smelter and saw the like premise of your Eve um, and like, you know, your Eve in battle armor. And I was like, what is this? This looks ridiculous. Uh, but you know, it looks like it could be fun. I'll see if I can check it out. Holy smokes. I love it. I am completely charmed by this game. I think it is super fun to play. I think the writing is fantastic. The, the animation is great glorious the music's really good i'm just i'm completely smitten i can't say enough good things about it right now um i'm gonna keep playing this um like i said i'm, I'm playing this a little before you're here in this episode so i'm hoping i might have a review up on geek to geek media the same day that this episode comes out i'm not sure i'll have finished it by then but this is definitely one i am really really excited to play more of so um, as far as my first impressions go, this is a heavy, heavy, heavy recommend. Um, but check out geek2geekmedia.com, if not now, soon in the future, for uh, a more detailed review. Um, and again, um, thank you to Dengan Entertainment for providing me a copy of this, because I, I'm, I'm so delighted. It's great. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Until next time, friends. Tap A and hope for the best. What is that hand motion I just did? Podcast listeners, you don't even know, but I just did the weirdest hand motion. Like, hey, like I did almost finger guns when I could be holding up a controller and saying, tap A and hope for the best. And then I could press the A button and end the episode there. That would have been a clever way to do it. If you enjoyed my show, it would mean a lot if you would rate and review it on iTunes, share it on social media, or check out my Patreon. You can find all of my stuff at troidalpower.carrd.co. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at ProbablyWork for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.